The Outlander series star Sam Hewen has recently commented that he and his co-star, Katrina Balfe, cheated during an iconic scene in the last episode of season 6. So, which scene do you think Sam Hewen was talking about? Also, in this video, we will talk about Jamie and Claire's most unforgettable Outlander scenes. Keep watching for more information on all of these in this video. First off, Outlander Sam Hewen says he and Katrina Balfe cheated during an iconic scene. The last the last episode of the most recent season of Outlander included a nail-biting gunfight on Fraser's Ridge that tested the mettle of Claire Fraser, played by Katrina Balfe, and her husband, Jamie, played by Sam Hewen. The longtime co-stars of the popular stars drama disclosed their techniques to make the moment feel as accurate as possible in a new behind-the-scenes segment. Katrina and Sam stated that they did not employ proper firearm skills during the combat on Fraser's Ridge. When Claire is Fraser framed for murder at the end of Outlander Season 6. Lionel Brown, played by Chris Larkin, leads an attack on the Frasers' home. Even though the couple had locked their house, the Brownsville mob managed to get inside and take them hostage. Although the Highlander spouse and the time-traveling healer put up a good fight with their weapons, the performers aren't precisely firearm specialists. We cheated a lot, didn't we? When Sam asked, Katrina confirmed that they cheated a lot. Sam lowered his voice to a whisper and admitted they never reloaded the rifles. The lengthy procedure of reloading the gunpowder and ammo is something that actors are frequently trained to execute for similar historical dramas and movies. The performers only needed to pretend to struggle with the gun to provide the appearance of reloading, which made things easier to shoot. Sam added that they faked reloading and then were reloaded. However, Katrina jokingly said that she had loaded every one of them. Sam then inquired whether she reloaded using chalk, gunpowder, or loose paper paper, packing it all down, and then setting it to the pan. His co-star promptly cut him off, saying she might not have done that part. The fact that Katrina had to film the episode when she was nine months pregnant made the episode's stunning action sequence in Outlander even more impressive. She said that after inhaling the smoke that followed the discharge of their fake weapons, she had some worries. Although Jamie still needs to save Claire from the Brownsville gang, nearly inevitable execution, the Frasers will hopefully be able to relax once Outlander's seventh season premieres this year. This segment will discuss Jamie and Claire's most fascinating Outlander scenes. Outlander is not only about so let's just state that right off the bat. It follows a Scottish soldier and a time-traveling doctor with a Harvard background who spent much of their time evading death. In addition to the challenges of daily life in the 18th century, they must contend with an impending war, violent arch enemies, rebellions, slavery, incarceration, illness, and other issues. So getting it on isn't always a top priority. With that said, Outlander has established itself as one of the TV programs, with special recognition given to the enthralling sequences in Season 1, many of which were sparked by Diana Gabaldon, the author of the Outlander books. Outlander, however, deliberately caters to the female gaze in every consensual moment, unlike other raunchy series. In other words, one glimpse at your screen is sure to make you hot and bothered. Thanks to the connection between Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe, each frame is steamy and unpolished, while still being immensely immensely believable. And there's something strangely appealing about having a encounter amid the roughness of the 1700s. Balfe told Vulture that people were so used to seeing women objectified as objects of men's desire. Still, it's unusual to see a woman controlling her directing it, and orchestrating events. Season 4 had less rumbling in the sheets, and fans hoped that Season 5 would remedy that. Meryl Davis, the executive producer, told TV Guide that each season had its narrative and where they were headed. He added that they couldn't constantly recreate the first season, which was truly unforgettable. Simply put, it must feel natural and fit within the storyline, which was something the performers and he both worked on. Meanwhile, let's review the most memorable Jamie and Claire outline counters. Coming first, we have Season 1, Episode 7, The Wedding. Nothing compares to the first time, especially if it's Claire and Jamie's. Claire and Jamie had recently tied the knot when the episode introducing the public to the ideal 
between our two favorites aired. The two are also expected to be romantically involved as soon as possible because it was Scotland in the 18th century. Since Jamie was a virgin and Claire was only now starting to accept that she was falling in love with a man other than her husband, they both appeared to be a little uncomfortable. It didn't last long and Jamie admitted tentatively that he didn't realize people did it face to face. He assumed people took the long route like horses and fans couldn't help but swoon even even when he's ignorant. Thankfully, round two formally began the blush-inducing Outlander escapades to which we have grown used to. Before the pair eventually gets to it, there is agonizingly slow disrobbing in foreplay. And Claire is so loud that Jamie believes he's injured her. He inquires whether the shouts of passion will happen every time, to which Claire answers, only if the man is an excellent lover. However, we all know Jamie continues to demonstrate that he is an excellent lover throughout season four. He he gives Claire his mother's pearl necklace before they have again at the end of the episode. It's one of many reasons why Outlander fans keep returning to the wedding, because it's so wonderfully sweet. The following episode is titled Both Sides Now. They get down and filthy in the Scottish Highlands, on the luscious green grass, with their clothes still on for the most part. What could be better than wild with a stunning redhead. Did we forget the one thing Jamie said to Claire that keeps replaying in our minds while he was outside having frantic with a gorgeous redhead? Jamie asked Claire if he could ever stop wanting her. Following that is episode nine, The Reckoning. Do we recall when Jamie had to punish Claire because she had been wrong? No, we're not making this up. It truly happened. Given that it was the 18th century, Jamie thought it was appropriate to punish her for disobeying one of his commands once she did so. Claire was enraged when he spanked her with his belt. Ultimately, all was forgiven and they engaged in makeup during this time, Claire mounts her lover and humorously puts a blade to his throat while threatening to rip James Frazier's heart out and eat it for breakfast if he tries that again. Next, in episode 10, by the pricking of my thumb. We're barely out of the opening credits when we're greeted by a sleeping Claire, still out of breath. We quickly learn that the source of her groans and gasps, rather than a particularly vivid dream, was an amorous ginger man who woke her up by placing his head between her knees. Isn't it better than a dream? We believe so. They appear to be interrupted when there is a knock on the door at one point, but until his lady reaches her peak ecstasy, Jamie keeps on trucking along and catering to his lady's lady bits. Then we have episode 11, The Devil's Mark. It's time for Claire to tell Jamie she's a time traveler from the 1940s after nearly being burned at the stake for alleged witchcraft. Although he responds to the news incredibly well, he decides that he must permit her to get through the stones at Craig Nadal done to get home. The two get heated and heavy by the fire as a final farewell, but we've learned Jamie is always a gentleman in the bedroom, or outside, as he declared that he wanted to watch her. He then brings Claire to climax entirely by superb handiwork. Finally, Jamie and Claire's most unforgettable outlander Scenes. First up, La Dame Blanc, Season 3, Episode 4. The first and one of the few real scenes of the season are found in La Dame Blanc. After being so withdrawn, Jamie eventually explains to Claire that Black Jack Randall assaulted him. They sleep in different rooms, but in the middle of the night, Claire returns to Jamie's room to reconnect with him, and they do so under the light of the moon. Fans were divided about Season 2 since there was less and more everything but. However, Jamie was consciously trying to combat the PTSD brought on by his assault, so there was a distinct absence of heat. They were also preoccupied with dealing with Claire's pregnancy, navigating the French royal court, and trying to avert the Battle of Culloden. Gabaldon told E! News that although the role of vary. It's because people's lives change. She added that there was more going on than passion and attraction since they were no longer newlyweds. However, Gabaldon concluded that Jamie and Claire had always used activity to communicate, and they still do today. The only difference is that pregnancy is now an issue. Next up, episode 13, Dragonfly and Amber. Jamie urges a pregnant Claire to return to her home period and travel through the stones where she would be safe, as it becomes apparent that the Battle of Culloden is still taking place despite Jamie and Claire's best attempts. They exchange hasty and tearful farewells in what may be their final meeting. Before parting, they make love at the foot of the stone. 
stones. Following that, season four, episode six, Blood of My Blood. Our favorite pair finally gets some alone time after bidding farewell to a now healthy Lord John Gray and his son, Willie, Jamie's child by blood. In addition to bathing Claire, Jamie also gives her a new ring to replace the one that Stephen Bonnet stole. He explains that it was crafted by Murtaugh using one of Jamie's mother's silver candlesticks, and it bears the inscription, Give me a thousand kisses. Claire exclaims that she would give him a thousand more, overcome with want and emotion, before they leave the water and get to it. However, we don't see the truly nice parts, if you know what we mean. Lastly, Season 4, Episode 1, America the Beautiful. We are treated to some classic outdoor coitus in the premiere. Jamie and Claire find solace in one another by a roaring fire as they mull on mortality and their more than 20 years of marriage. Although it moves quickly, it has the passion and sensuality distinct distinctive to Outlander. When it comes to hot Claire and Jamie moments, it was yet another season when viewers weren't given much to work with. Well, we are at the end of the video. So, do you think the shooting scene in the last episode of season 6 looks like both Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe cheated? Also, which of Jamie and Claire's scenes is your favorite? Let's hear your comments in the section below. Please, remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.